Are we ever going to be able to have a lightning node run on a mobile or is it possible now? Um, it's possible now. You can run a lightning node on uh, a mobile wallet. Now, the question is, what are the capabilities of a lightning node? Uh, keep in mind, when we say a lightning wallet or a lightning node, um, we're talking about a range of capabilities. Um, first of all, um, the, the first thing you should ask about a lightning node or lightning wallet is who has the keys? To use my trusty mug that says, not your keys, not your coins. A wallet where you don't control the keys is a custodial wallet where somebody else controls the keys. There are lightning wallets where you do not control the keys, um, where they're controlled by a third party centralized service, a custodial wallet. In fact, that's the easiest way to get online onto the lightning network is to use somebody else's keys. Of course, that is dangerous and it violates the fundamental principles of uh, independence and sovereignty of the Bitcoin system. So probably don't do that um, or don't do that if you can do better. So the first question is where are the keys? The second uh, question uh, about the implementation of a Lightning Wallet is where is the routing done? Um, so where is the routing done? Uh, means whether your node is constructing routes to the final destination. And in order to do that, it needs to keep up with what is known as the Lightning Network gossip, um, which is gossip about the channels. It's basically nodes telling each other what channels exist, what the fees for those channels are, and which nodes they connect so that your wallet or node can construct an internal map of the Lightning Network, which it can then use to say, if I want to go from A to B, uh, which payment channel pairs connect me uh, and provide me routes? And of course, there's, usually there's not just one route, there's several routes, and a Lightning Wallet can then try to send a payment over different routes to see if it gets to the destination. Um, if your Lightning Wallet doesn't have the bandwidth and uh, local storage in order to keep a full network map, then it must outsource that to another node through, uh, for example, uh, trampoline routing. And so um, that's where you've lost some of the control, uh, but it makes your Lightning node more lightweight. Um, and then um, the other one is about whether your Lightning node is constructing payment channels to other uh, Lightning nodes or wallets, or if all of its transactions are going through a single payment channel to a single centralized hub. Um, and again, that's a reduced degree of privacy, a reduced degree of independence and the possibility of denial of service or censorship by that particular um, intermediary node. But it is possible today to run a fully routing uh, payment channel management, key management, Lightning Wallet that does everything on a smartphone. Uh, it's just a fairly heavy application and it takes a while to fully sync, uh, but you can run it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free. So if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.